guys, it's Emily here and I'm back with another video. It's been literal months. I understand I'm the worst YouTuber known to man, but anyways, I'm trying to get better at filming videos because I have all these ideas. I just uh, procrastinate and um, take naps. So anyways, today I have for you three ways to wear one dress. Now, the reason I decided to do this video was because I was reflecting on myself. I was reflecting on the fact that I have a shopping problem. Now, I don't know if you're like me and you love to shop and then you often find yourself wondering, why do I even like to shop? Because the minute I pull my card out of my bag, I start sweating. I don't enjoy the feeling of someone swiping my card and me feeling that money just disappear. So it is peculiar to me that I enjoy shopping as much as I do. So what I've come up with is I just love the game of it. I like putting together things. I thrift most often and that is the ultimate version of that. I love, love, love to dig and find unique things and just put weird pairings together. It's like my thing. So I was thinking of a low budget way to do that. And so I really wanted to see how many outfits I could create with one basic piece. I think this information is super useful because I feel like, I don't know if you're like me, but every time I go shopping, I buy one piece and I have an outfit in mind for it. I wear that outfit and then I consider that old news. Um, but unfortunately, my bank account is limiting me to not think that way anymore. So I thought it would be fun, a fun challenge for myself to create three completely different looks based off one dress this one. Now, to give you some context, I've been on the hunt for the perfect fall dress for so long. I have a certain silhouette that I like and um, I really, really typically hate the cold weather, but I love fall fashion. I just never put my mind to it and uh, really commit myself to trying to explore different avenues of fashion. So this is the epitome of that. So we're gonna jump into three different outfits that I've created with this dress right here, um, which by the way, is from Shop Mint Boutique in the Hamptons. I went to the Hamptons with my family several weeks ago and I found this gem and I'm obsessed with it and I've worn it several different ways already and it still feels new to me. So I'm gonna show you guys just three ways that you can style one dress and hopefully you can learn something from it and uh, apply it to your own wardrobe. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna go top to bottom because you can't see my shoes in the shot right now, so I'll show those last. But uh, starting at the top, I've been loving these newsboy caps for fall time. They're really simple and they're not like as extra as a floppy hat. And I just feel like they're really easy to throw on. It just makes everything look like you tried a little bit harder. And if you're having a bad hair day, we love that. So I also got this uh, vest. It's kind of like a cop off of a trench coat. And I got this at Target and I love it mainly because the inside has these really cool abstract faces and I'm just down for the details. I got this bag at Goodwill um, as usual. It's kind of like an envelope bag. It's very thin, but you can put a lot in it. And it just has these handles and I'm not fussy about bags. So whether it's on my shoulder or just like hanging off my arm, I don't really care either way. So if you're fussy about it, this wouldn't really work for you, but you could always add a chain and just make it a long purse. Super easy to fix. So this is the dress and how I styled it. I kept it pretty basic for this first round. Um, I got this belt at Play-Doh's and I love playing on colors. So if I pick a color to be a pop of color in an outfit, I try and make the rule of three occur. So I do the hat in cranberry, the belt in cranberry, and then my shoes are like a burnt cranberry color as well. So that's just like a rule of thumb that I follow and by no means, fashion has no rules, so there's no really rhyme or reason to it. But 
Anyways, then I put for fun these really cute lacy tights on with it. I love printed tights, colored tights, especially in the fall time. I feel like um, it's just classy, and especially because I work in an office, I have to have tights on um, if I want to wear like dresses like this, just based off personal personal preference. So these work really well for me and my fashionista self because they're different. Then last but certainly not least, I'm going to pop my foot up here and show you guys these amazing boots. They're from the brand Nicole and they have these really cute studded details on the uh, foot and they're real leather and I wear them to death. I got them on a serious steal. I got them for $10. So I think that's enough said with this one. We're going to bow out and go to the next one. Alright guys, this is my second outfit. Um, it's a little bit different and I think I like it because I layered so if it gets colder, this is an outfit that can definitely do you good in the later season when it starts to get really cold because I've got basically two long sleeves on right here. So I have the dress, I hiked it up because it has elastic in the middle so I made it more of a shirt length which is really nice about this dress, it makes it more versatile than just like a regular old dress. And over top, I put this really beautiful H&M blouse. I love this blouse. It reminds me of Versace for some reason, probably because of the colors. And it's just so billowy, and it's just so complimentary. And I usually tie it like this, um, just to give it more shape than just being a regular flat blouse. And it did come with this little handkerchief thing, so you could put this in your hair, you could put it on whatever bag you're carrying. However you want to do it, girl, do it. So because it's got navy blue in it, I just paired it with some really cute dark denim. And then I have white heels on to mimic the white in the blouse itself. And then to kind of pull out the gold, I just threw this little clutch with it. I love this. It's kind of like a faux snake skin or alligator skin. I don't even know. Probably alligator. Yeah, I think it's alligator, but obviously fake. And um, I just think this is so darling. It's really comfortable and easy to move in. And you could probably put a really sick jacket on with this um, if it's even colder than this. But yeah, I'm obsessed. Love these heels. Um, I got these heels at Ross. Oh, Timmy, I just kicked you in the face. I'm so sorry. Timmy, sit. Oops. So I got these heels at Ross um, for 10 bucks. I don't know why 10 is like my lucky number. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, how nice of you to say hello. I love you. All right, down. Get up. Sit. So then, um, this blouse, like I said, is from H&M. And the pants are from Goodwill, but they're Abercrombie, I believe, and they are my favorite pants in the world. This little bag is actually so nifty. I got it at TJ Maxx. It comes with a strap to make it a crossbody and also a little purse in the middle of this. So this is actually snapped together and then there's another purse to make it even bigger. So if you want it casual or if you just want like a wallet size thing, it's honestly so versatile and I love this mustard yellow for the fall time. Any type of color I can get in the fall time, I'm going to go for it. Reds, purples, yellows, greens. I'm just going to go for it because I'm not typically a really big fan of monochromatic outfits that are like all neutrals, but I'm trying my hand at it and then adding a pop of color here and there. So anyways, that's this. of this dress. I just paired it with a really cute vintage denim uh, shirt. It's really a shirt. My it was my mom's back in the day and uh, she let me steal it so I wear it all the time now. It's super broken in so it's really easy to just throw on with anything. And um, to break up the outfit, I put this really cute chain belt that I had gotten at Goodwill once um, and it kind of ties in the black that I have throughout the outfit. 
I got this bag at the old boutique I used to work at. I love it. It fits literally everything. And at the bottom, I have these faux leather leggings that I got at TJ Maxx two years ago for a Halloween costume, and now I literally live in them. So yeah, I ended the outfit with some basic superstar sneakers. I use these to death and they definitely need a cleaning. So yeah, this is the most basic and easy to pull off. You could do any type of dress under this outfit, to be honest, or even just like an oversized t-shirt. It's really easy. Just pick like a pop of color to bring out your most autumnal self and call it a day. All right, guys, that was my three ways to wear one basic dress, and I hope you got something out of this video. I'm really, really hoping there's gonna be more videos coming your way. I do enjoy content creation and all of that, so if you're interested, follow me on Instagram. My handle is at mcon111. Um, I'll put it in the description box below. I also have a blog I will link below as well, and I'll see you guys next time.